So if you thought Minions was going to be a good movie, um, pretty much all the internet pretty much thought the same thing. It was, it's obviously going to be just a cash grab. Cash grab, like I need to, sorry, I don't, I'm trying to speak quietly. It's just one big, it was going to be one big cash grab, like, we don't need story, we don't need characters, we don't need but we just need to put the minions on something and it'll sell. That's it. It's like McDonald's stop putting freaking minions everywhere. It's annoying, but was it a good movie? It's I thought it was I thought it was okay. Not as good as Inside Out and not really like I wouldn't really say it's great. It's, it's okay. There, there's just a couple of confused things. It doesn't know, like, the, the plot is, like, they're, the, we wanted an origin story of the minions. Like, we just wanted to see how they met Gru, or all the, or how, where they even from. <gasps> they don't really elaborate that, not on that much. All you get is a weird animation um, played to Happy Together by the Turtles. It's like Spore. That's the first thing I saw, thought of when I saw the opening. Was like, it's like that's Spore. I don't even have the game. <laughs> but it's like, and it's like playing to Happy Together, which I'll give you one. The best thing about this was the song choice and the soundtrack. Come on, you got, you had, you had the Beatles, not the, well, I mean you did, but that was from the credits. You had, um, You Really Got Me, Eruption by Up Van Halen, um, The Doors is, um, Break On Through to the Other Side. It was a great soundtrack. Pretty much the only good, only great thing about this film. In terms of actual story and humor and character, no, there, there, there's not much. I mean, they're just really stereotypes. You got the, you got the smart one, who was Kevin, the uh, lazy one who was Stuart, and the silly, ch chubby, and cute one, the cute one, which is, um, Bob. And um, yeah, it sounds like One Direction. <laughs> oh, it's been a while since I made that joke. Well, I mean, it's an inside joke between my friends, but it's like with the uh, Inside Out, there was actual character. They were emotions, but they still had, like, separate characters. Like, you think about it, angry can be happy, or joy can be sad. Like that. These were just... They were just... They were just the minions from The Despicable Me. That's about it. It's pretty much, you know, the cutaway jokes from both the fir both movies? And the useless minions, the bears and the minions and the Lorax. I was like, ugh. They started that movie. Um... Yeah, it's pretty much that, the whole movie. It's... I don't think it was bad. Uh, it was the, uh... Scarlet... Scar... Overkill. It was Sandra Bullock, I think. She did... She was pretty funny. It was... I mean... I mean, she was Miss Congeniality. Chick flick that I like. But we're not gonna use that. It's... It's, um... She was, she was funny, like, I like how they gave a little bit of, like, kind of a cute, I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know, like, I, this movie was just confused, it just, it like, you don't, you didn't get much into the origin story, it was just pretty much the minions with a different villain. Not Gru. He's li I swear they literally phoned in Steve Carell. You thought the phoning in... You thought... Uh, the... I don't know what's a good example of phoning in, but... But it's like, this was just painful. How phoned in grew with at the end. Steve Carell. Like, they didn't even have to put him in the studio. you just like, hey, can you record something for us? Okay. But, um... It's just... The one... It's, it just, 
I don't know. They, it gets con it's all over the place. Like they, Bob becomes the king king of England because he pulls a sword to defend himself from guards, which is confusing because they're trying to they're trying to steal a crown for the lady for Scarlet Overkill, and um, they're hold on, sorry. They're tr um, trying to lost my train of thought. Um, they're trying to get okay. They're tr the whole story is they're trying to get the. Uh, the minions try to find a leader. They meet Scarlet Overkill, who tries to get him the uh, the, cr the Queen Elizabeth's crown. Which I mean, I know it's basic, but th th that's much. That's what they do with it. It's just it's just nothing new. Um, like they try to get the crown from Queen Elizabeth, and uh, while like attacking the guards, uh, Bob, the uh, little fat minion, becomes king because he pulls the sword of the stone trying to defend himself from guards that's when the really got me played and it was awesome but it's like it gets confused as I mean yeah you got the crown and they go in the, and they totally ignore the plot with, by just saying hey Bob has power let's just let's just do the, every single cliche you know like screwing around in a in a fancy place that's been done in like Princess Diary, and you don't want to rip off P Princess Diary. You don't. And then like Scarlet Overkill gets mad, tries to take the crown, and uh, he just gives it to him. Like, but that's not the law. And then they like, go into this just useless scene where like, oh, that's not the law. You can't, you can't give the crown to just some random lady. And then like he changes the law in like court, but, and then like, I got a subject, and, and like, he changes the law, so the Scarlet Overkill just could have the crown, and it was the most pointless scene, like, why can't they just, like, no, kids don't want to get into politics, um, <laughs> well, I mean, it's eventually, eventually they'll have to, it's ugly, but, ugh, sorry about doing that, we have an itchy face. It's like, you just give them the crown, like, don't make, don't, don't, there was, that scene was totally pointless. And to be fair, the whole movie was pretty pointless. And pretty much the rest of the movie is that they're trying to run away from Scarlet Overkill, and it's not focused. Like, the whole, the main plot, trying to find the minions of New Boss, because apparently they have a history of following evil. That's, we'll get into the, why I don't like that later. But it's just confused. It doesn't. It doesn't know if it wants to tell the Scarlet Overkill story or like the story where it's trying to find a boss, the new boss. It's just confused. Like it's just all over the place. Well, I just I said we'll go into why I don't like the whole following evil thing later, but I'm doing it now. <laughs> so basically, like also, yeah, like I said, Steve Carell. The movie just ends when they see, see, um, crew and hey, hey, let's have no motivation. Let's ignore the fact that Scarlet Overkill, that the crown was stolen again. <laughs> it's like, ridiculous. Like, because, like, Gru comes and steals the crown, and no one stops him. I might have to make this a two-parter, but it's... it's yeah, this is the first negative. <laughs> Express your opinion. Just realize that. But, um... Like, the problem I have with the moral is just... It, the moral is... Just... You know, do what the minions do. Follow evil. They don't say anything about about it. I mean, I'm, I'm, go I'm going to get comments. That's not the, the message. That it was just supposed to be a silly film. But I don't think that's a good 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 message for kids just fall say hey, if you see someone just follow them dude it's like confused like just follow evil that's it it's not like I mean sure it's probably not the message the intended message but kids do take things so seriously like that like like they do try to interpret what they do, but yeah, follow evil. I don't think that's a good message. Hmm. Um. I don't know.
don't know why. Oh, maybe it's because 